Hey everybody, and welcome to the next Smoke and Flame Quick Tip. Now this one is going to be on Stingray's uh, Motion Blur node. Um, a lot of people know that that got introduced into action, um, but the other thing to remember is it also lives in batch um, with Matchbox, and uh, it can be close to real time and uh, also produce a lot less artifacting. So um, the key to remember for this example is I'm not actually slowing down, I'm just introducing Motion Blur. Um, you can't, uh, as it stands right now, uh, slow down a clip and then uh, use vectors using the uh, the motion blur. But I'll uh, explain that in a second. So first thing I'm going to do is just going to grab a motion analysis, just so I've got some motion vectors being generated. And I'm just going to go to let's go to half resolution, and then I'm just going to press M and just pull out the regular motion blur. I'm going to connect my front and then the forward vector, and I'll put this to samples and I'll put it to 0.5. So you see. Especially when the, the flare over here, if I'll just look at the front, pops in. You see, it gets a little bit confused up here. Now let's try out the same thing again with the Matchbox, uh, the Stingray Motion Blur. Again, uh, that's the great thing about these Matchboxes, the ones that do live in action or our camera effects is they can be applied out here. And um, the other thing to remember with this node is it's, uh, it's not going to complain if we pipe in um, you know, less input. So we just want the front. And then we'll go all the way to the end, which is the motion vectors. And you see we don't get any uh, weird thing saying it's not going to work. So I'm going to put this to 0.5 as well, just to pull down a bit. And again, if I just do Alt-2, Alt sorry. And if we just toggle between these, you see we're getting a different type of blur. And again, it's not a slow down motion blur, it's just motion blur on top. So if I scrub through, and again, you see how quick this is. And again, if we go to the source and then the motion blur, you see, it does a pretty good job um, without introducing a lot of um, the artifacting you'll get. Again, like these settings are never going to be on parity um, between these two because they're using different algorithms. But uh, I've really had good experience adding motion blur to clips. Again, not slowing them down, but adding motion blur to clips using this guy as opposed to the traditional one, which introduces a lot more of the artifacting you're, you're used to. Now, there's a, another use case, again, um, just to remind, um, because we are uh, doing this post-action, um, you can do this for your comps. And again, um, like I said, you know, motion, motion blur uh, and motion vectors got introduced during this version. Um, or maybe in this version, the last, it gets a little bit confusing sometimes. So I'm just going to scale that up. And I'm just going to set a keyframe, go to the end, and just spin it pretty crazily. And again, if I press play, there's my, there's my spin. And again, I'm just going to go to the output and choose motion vectors. And again, I'm just going to duplicate these guys. So I'm just going to control drag and then duplicate, pull them down. And let's, um, let's just pipe them up to see the difference in results too. Again, this is post action. It don't, we don't always have to do stuff in here. Um, and that's a really important thing to note. So I'll go to the connect those guys up and then again, connect this blur up. I have to do alt two. And again, if we just look at the difference, you see it's a, it's a very different result we get. And again, um, it's not, from my experience, I, I prefer the Stingray Motion Blur, you know, and, but uh, like most of you know, uh, it's not always uh, which is better, it's whichever uh, works for the shot. And again, the reason I like the Stingray one is it's, it's real time, you can press play. And it's, um, you know, if we pump this right up and then just zero out those keyframes, uh, it's really quick to tweak and see what's going on. And um, you know, a handy tool that uh, hopefully you guys uh, didn't know about that lives in batch and um, can really uh, save processing time and uh, help you guys out. So that's it for this quick tip, guys. Uh, plenty more to come. Stay tuned for more.